There he is, King Antonio 59, David Steves Jr. This week, he will be taking time out from his steel fabricating firm, the October Corporation, and spread fiesta fun throughout the city. Steve grew up in the Alamo City, attending San Antonio Academy and graduating from TMI, and has a BA degree from Texas University. King Antonio is the father of two sons, 12-year-old Hollis, a sixth grader at TMI, and a 17-year-old Chris, a MacArthur High School junior. For the three of them, their favorite pastime is fishing at the coast, and they have some trophies to prove their skills. During a visit with Steve, he talked about how he sees the role of King Antonio. King Antonio, of course, is a make-believe king that is elected by the membership of the Texas Cavaliers, and I, in effect, am really uh, just a representative of that group. And uh, we, of course, try to uh, try to spread a little joy around town during the during the fiesta time. And uh, my job really is just to just to be sort of the, the leader in that effort. David Steves Jr., King Antonio the 59th. Paul Schaefer, News Center 4. Marlene Carter, Fiesta Queen, is a six foot two, 23 year old landscape architect. A 1979 Texas A&M graduate, she is now employed by a firm in Houston. She's worked on landscape projects in Houston and for Saudi Arabia, to name a couple. A pet project of hers, along with her father, David Carter, is restoring the old Carter homestead at 119 Taylor Street downtown near the municipal auditorium. Marlene, why is it so special to you to restore this house? Well, this, this house is filled with a lot of old memories from my grandmother and we used to have all the Christmases and Easter's in the old homestead and I would love to restore it back to its, its beautiful use that it once had and, and so that other people in San Antonio can enjoy the, the home. The chapel is a, a place that my grandmother used to hold her Christmas services and we used to all gather as a family in there and, and we are now presently restoring the chapel the observatory where we used to have our birthday parties looking at Saturn is and what was in horrible condition and, and now has been restored and we are ready to, to put back the, the piece of glass to see Saturn again and you've pitched in and done some of the work yourself I sure have everything from scrubbing floors to peeling paint what scrubbing floors Fiesta Queen Marlene Carter Paul Schaefer News Center 4 Our city's next mayor received a special invitation to address the Texas State Senate today. Prior to his talk, Mayor-elect Henry Cisneros, his wife Mary Alice, and daughters Teresa and Mercedes paid a courtesy visit with Governor Bill Clements. They discussed development of San Antonio and monies for state programs and projects. Look forward to working with you. Good. Thanks for nice having you. Thank you very much. The invitation to address the Senate was sponsored by Senators Glenn Kothman, Bob Vale, and John Traeger. And as we work to help ourselves, we hope that you, the members of this august body and the leaders of our state, will be more favorably disposed to help us where state resources are essential to our objectives. Cisneros told the Senate San Antonio needs its help in building first-rate educational institutions, funding and building an expressway system for traffic 10 years from now, and he asked that our city be consulted on decisions concerning President Reagan's social services block grant monies. 
we want to help you to build the Texas of the 1980s. We're going to go at the Texas Capitol in Austin, Paul Schaefer, News Center 4. These fifth grade students are looking through a telescope. What's unusual about that? They built the telescope in class. The 25 students are gifted children enrolled in the Alamo Heights District's Heights program and enrichment program. Once a week, they come from their own elementary schools, Woodridge, Cambridge, and Howard, to Alamo Heights High School for a day of challenging work. Director of the program, Linnell Mickey, said, for 40 hours, the children worked on the telescope they're supervised by Dr. Robert Jones, an eye surgeon. Funds to build a telescope valued at $1,000 were donated by people from Alamo Heights and San Antonio. Today was the first time they had a chance to see if it worked. It was trained on football stadium lights for this demonstration. It's powerful enough to see a moon crater that measures a half mile across. Well, I learned a lot about making telescopes and astronomy. Well, I learned... Um, the constellations of the stars in Leo, the lion. Sound like a pretty fun job, and and most of it.